Hello and welcome to Thought for November the 3rd. Our readings are 2 Chronicles chapter 32, Daniel chapter 12 and Acts chapter 13. And our thought is, look you scoffers. Today we read how the missionary work of the dramatically converted Paul began in earnest. Many of the Jews, however, are jealous of his popularity and this blinds their minds to the message he is preaching. He warns them, Beware, therefore, lest what is said in the prophets should come about. Look, you scoffers, be astounded and perish, for I am doing a work in your days, a work that you will not believe even if one tells it to you. Acts chapter 13, and he is quoting from Habakkuk chapter 1 verse 5. It is exactly the same today, but with different motivations. People are scoffers, but when Christ comes and divine power is clearly evident, they will be astounded and perish. And how thought-challenging is what we read in the last chapter of Daniel today. The prophet told us to shut up the words and seal the book until the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall increase, we read in verse 4. It is remarkable how knowledge has dramatically increased in the last century or two. Well, even in the last 10 years. And now, almost yearly, it is the same with travel. It is running to and fro, even though we are restricted by COVID. But 65 years ago, we were travelling by ship from the UK to Australia, and it took only 30, it took 30 days. Today, you can fly in less than 30 hours. It took five days to fly 65 years ago, staying in hotels overnight at a cost of a small fortune. And Daniel's prophecy ends in him being told, he is to rest until you stand in your allotted space at the end of the days. Jesus tells us this in Revelation 14 and verse 13. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord, that they may rest from their labours. At the beginning of the chapter, Daniel is told, There shall be a time of trouble such as never has been. At that time your people shall be delivered, every one whose name shall be found written in the book. This is the end of the days of human rule. At that time, which seems so near, we may feel inclined to say, look you scoffers, to the many disbelievers. But it's far more important to look to God's word and be faithful to the Lord ourselves so that we can stand in our allotted space at the end of the days. Many of us today can expect by the grace of our Lord, to be changed after being astounded at events and witnessing the scoffers perishing as we start to shine like the brightness of the sky above. The reality of this is far beyond present comprehension. How earnestly we must pray. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, remembering that that Word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.